Am I in focus at all? <laughs> What's up guys? We are here at Movies 8 today. Sadly, the Movies 8 shut down in 2019. It was just before COVID and all the pandemic started. So they have just been here for so long. They were here when I was a kid. When I was growing up, we would come out uh, and see a dollar movie. I'm surprised they haven't knocked it down yet, but we are here and we're gonna shoot some photos today and it's gonna be cool. I'm still pretty shocked that that cop just let me stay there because I have been told off a few times. I was a total amateur and forgot my microphone. Yeah, it's definitely something I would have counted off for as a teacher. Now it's time for three seconds of liminal space. All right, so you probably heard about liminal space by now. Liminal space is kind of a transitional space to get from point A to point B. Maybe it's some bright colors incorporated. It's usually kind of dark, which creates an ominous environment, but it's still something familiar. Behind the lobby, you can see where the arcade area used to be. You can also see a door to a bathroom and two doors in the back to go into theaters. All right, so you know how I said I was gonna get artsy and keep messing with colors and stuff. I hope I didn't disappoint you because that's what you're about to get.
So I still have a problem with teal and orange. Teal and orange. Something that I really like to do because you can get a whole bunch of different images out of it um, and get really creative with it is I like to use a prism. I also like to use different sparkly things. So these are just um, pieces of paper that have silver sparkles or subtle, maybe black sparkles. And then this gold one, which I've used in these couple of photos here. It's also really cool when you use the back of a CD. If you still have CDs, it has reflective qualities and it's iridescent. There's like the prismatic effect. Another thing I like to use are little fabric pieces. Um, you can go to the fabric store and just get, uh, you know, in their sale bin if they have extra scraps left over for a couple bucks. Um, these come in real handy if you're trying to get creative with your photography. And I like this one because it's also iridescent. I hope you guys like my cat shirt. It's even got a horse and it's got a little lighthouse on it. I really dressed up for you today. This is my dream sequence. Welcome to my shirt. For this photo, I used a filter called the Kaleidoscope Filter from Prism Lens Effects. I'll put a link below so you can go check out their filters too. Comment below to tell me which photo was your favorite. I hope you all enjoyed the video today. I hope it motivates you guys to get out there and shoot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell, Movies 8. Farewell.